COVID-19 coronavirus. There's been a huge um, publicising message about the use of soap during coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak and how effective this coronavirus is at killing the virus. So why washing your hands with soap is so effective at killing the virus? Well, viruses can be active outside the human body for hours, even days. Disinfectants and liquids, wipes, gels and creams containing alcohol are all useful at getting rid of them, but they are not quite as good as a normal bar of soap. You can't even, for a million pounds, find a drug for the coronavirus, but a simple bar of soap kills the virus dead. Soap works well on coronavirus because it dissolves the fat membrane and the virus falls apart and dies or it becomes inactive. The virus is a self-assembled nanoparticle which is so small. Could you imagine a nanoparticle, how small that is? In which the weakest link is the lipid fatty bilayer. The soap destroys this. So like I say again, make this your best friend during the coronavirus, coronavirus outbreak. And wash your hands thoroughly, in between the fingers, make sure at least for 30 seconds. I recommend 30 seconds. It gets into all the nooks and cranny of your hands, fingernails, and you destroy this virus dead. It won't last, not with soap. And if you're outdoors, what I tend to do before I pick up any sort of washing basket or trolley, I spray the um, shopping basket trolley before I hold it. Even if I'm wearing gloves, I, I spray the basket with Detox. And I also spray Detox on my hands to prevent any infections. Uh, my shoes are sprayed when I enter indoors, underneath the base of my soles of my feet, to prevent any transfer of infections in my home. So I use this as well. And if anyone says that you are OTT or over cleaning yourself, just laugh at them and just tell them, my safety is my responsibility. And tell them if they want to die, that's up to them. Don't play with your life. Another thing I want to mention, I've just remembered, do not use public telephone boxes. The public telephone boxes are loaded with viruses. And there's another thing I do also when I enter doors of communal areas, I spray the handles before I touch them. Any doors, I spray the doors, the handles before I touch them. And I spray my hands after also. I kill the virus dead. Kill it dead. I've heard they've got UV um, devices which emit UV lights, which kills um, all viruses in the air. I'm quite um, researching this um, right now. The only problem with those UV um, beamers is that I keep wor worrying about cancer. But it does kill the virus in the air. It's been proven that Russia has got a few which they use and are testing. I want to see the tests on these things before they're released. We need tests on 5G. Uh, it's good to have the technology. The technology is really beautiful. But not if humans are going to manipulate this technology for the advantage to control the mass of people. I don't like the sound of that 1% of people controlling the masses of people. New world order. A new world order could be a good thing, believe it or not, because the way the world is running now is total chaos. So really a new world order could be good, but I don't trust the people who are going to run it. They may put evil and get rid of you and select people, just like how Hitler did. And that's what scares me. So, um... New World Order, I always believe they're pet, people better than what you are. People are much more intelligent than what you are, at a different level than, you, than what you are. It's the same way you are more intelligent of, of, than other people. But I believe we should all be treated the same. We should all be treated the same. But have higher respect for authority. Like the Queen, highest respect for the Queen. The Queen is at the V to me, the top. The one I look, the, the, I look for, uh, I look, I respect as the mother of the land and the people for me, because I'm a British citizen, born in the UK, is the Queen.
royal family is the highest. And then next is our Prime Minister. Our Prime Minister, the one who governs the country, very important. Prime Minister, very important. Remember, the coronavirus is lurking around every corner, in the air, everywhere. Coronavirus. Coronaviruses. Large particles, medium particles, and fine particles. Large particles drop to surfaces immediately. Medium particles float in the air, the aerosol particles, three to six minutes. And fine particles of this coronavirus will float in the air for up to three hours. Large particles will live on surfaces for three days. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you all the information I know about coronavirus. And this video may save your life if you take action and follow what I say. I mean, I've done research on coronavirus and to the best of my knowledge, I know what I, I've learned will save your life. That's if you want to live. You do not want to get this coronavirus because it is um, suffocating once it attacks the lungs. I could deal with all the shivering and all the, the temperatures, which is very bad. You get achy bones, uh, uh, skin hurts, muscles ache, you sweat, you shake. I could deal with that. What I cannot deal with is pneumonia. When it comes to chest infections, when you're constantly coughing, your chest gets infected, you get complications, and you get pneumonia, and you cannot breathe. It fills up your, your, um, your lungs is like a wet sponge, heavy, and bogged down with mucus. And no oxygen gets to your organs, like your kidneys, your liver, your heart, your brain. And therefore it shuts you down, and that's how you die. Very scary thought, isn't it? So the weapons I have, and the, my idea of coronavirus is where they can enter your body. So you touch surfaces and touch the mouth, you get coronaviruses. When you're in the vicinity, the close vicinity of anybody and they cough, the large sprays directly in your mouth, you get coronaviruses. If you're in a, a, a closed environment and someone coughs, like a shop or, or a cab, and the air circulates, you get coronaviruses from the medium particles small particles and the large particles. Depends on what distance are you, you are from them. My recommended distance is four to five meters safety distance from people, not the, not the two meters like the WHO recommends. The WHO to me are one big joke. And I'll keep mentioning this because I'm going by my opinion what I've seen them do. The World Health Organization, the WHO. Just think of Doctor Who. And remember this, the Daleks in Doctor Who. What do they do? They exterminate them. Exterminate. The Daleks exterminate. So just remember that. Doctor Who. The Who. Don't trust them. Take saving your life into your own hands. Now, the virus then floats in the air, okay? You've got the, the fine particles that surface for three hours. You've got the, the, the finer particles which um, that's there for three hours, and you've got the medium par particles, three to six minutes. Now your eardrum is another part of the body that the virus can enter, your eardrum. It sits in the wax part of your ears, and the virus goes st straight through. The virus can also attack your eyes. So therefore, if you're wearing a pair of glasses, you've got added protection for virus floating through the air and the heat in your glasses. When you return home, just spray your glasses with antibacterial and white, um, liquid and wash it down. So glasses, very important. If you've got a pair of headphones, not these pair, but a small pair, you've got protection of your ears. But what I tend to use, I tend to use um, swimming silicon earplugs. I push them into my ear, into my eardrums. That prevents anything from going into my, into my, my um, eardrum. I also wear a cap on my head and that prevents any virus particles sticking to my head, where I can itch the head, have the virus, touch my mouth. And before I um, go out, I spray this cap 
from antiviral and bacterial spray and it smells of the odour. This odour will kill any virus which lands on it and then a the cap then goes on my head. Okay? So the mask goes on. I go out with a mask, okay? I then go out with my glasses. And then I then go out with my cap. I have my silicon earplugs in my ear to protect anything from going in my ear. Protection from the face mask, protection from my cap. I also have a hood of my head, my cap. Just in case I have got, if I've got earplugs in, I wear a double hood for my jacket over my ear. This protects the ear from being blasted by any viruses. The virus is so contagious, contagious, and will spread. We are dealing with the invisible enemy. So I hope my family, right, are watching this. My negative family, eh? I hope you, Tyson, Maxine, and Leon, are watching this. Another thing is, do not get drunk. Do not drink alcohol. Alcohol weakens the immune system. And believe it or not, having a, a little testro, testosterone in, the bottle, in your body weakens your immune system. So if you have lots of sex and you feel tired and hour, you've got weaker immune system. You want to be strong and able to fight this virus when it hits you. Okay? Good diet, good food, good sleep, little stress, because if you have a lot of stress on your body, you're going to get a weaker immune system. If you don't get enough sleep, you have sleep stress. So I recommend eight hours of sleep per night. Try and relax the body. Try and meditate one hour a day. Right, all the weapons I'm trying to give you. When you go outside and you enter outside, and you return home, make sure you spray your feet with Detox as you enter. Underneath, before you enter your house, spray Detox under your shoes to kill all the coronavirus. Be very, very generous with this stuff. Flood your trainers underneath and over the side and the front. Many underneath, but the top, give a spray on the top and kill it. What I tend to do also is spray my jacket. Before I go out, I will spray my jacket. Let me just move this along, get this spray into it. I will spray my jacket. On the outside. Before I put it on my trousers and, and the back of my heels. So it smells of the stuff, it's potent. And this also, you're carrying a weapon against the virus. It may be far-fetched, but I'll tell you something, you're gonna save your life, or you're gonna severely reduce your chances of catching this coronavirus. Another thing you must not do with coronavirus around is spit. Spitting on our pavements or anywhere is the most disgusting habit there is. So if you want to save lives, refrain from spitting. What I tend to do, if I see spit on the floor, I tend to gob a good bunch of green phlegm, I spray it with my, my um, viral killer. Because dogs and pets can then walk over this, this infected virus and bring it into your home. And this is how I believe pets spread the virus. They don't transmit the virus through their, 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 um, their respiratory system, their breathing, or the air path, how they transfer the virus is by walking and touching. Pets are very affectionate animals, they jump on you and they spread the virus. So I know you love your pets, but please avoid your pets jumping on you and watch where your pet walks. You can be very careful, they transfer the virus, the virus is spread and believe it or not, you're gonna have thousands of deaths in one day in the UK. That's coming very soon. Today, on the 8th of um, April 2020, we had 820 recorded deaths in the UK from coronavirus. It's really serious. 
and I truly believe this is nothing yet to what's to come. So make this your friend, make this your friend, make this your friend, make this and, uh, alcohol hand sanitizers your friend, make this your best friend for when you're going out, along with this, make soap, a bar of soap your best friend, you return home, you wash your hands or you're out in the public and you see a bar of soap and water, wash your hands. Make good eating your best friend. Make eight hours sleep per night your best friend. Make testosterone in the body your best friend. Make a stress-free life your best friend and live. So another thing you wanna do is avoid traveling on London transport. London transport, transport buses have air filtration systems. If anyone's infected up on a bus, the air filtration system spreads the virus throughout the bus in seconds. So if you're not wearing a mask on the bus, you have had it. And even if you wear a mask and your eyes are not covered, somehow the virus can get in. Any shop you go into and they have the air con system turned on, ask them if they can turn it off or find out before you visit the shop, etc. I recommend the hospitals to turn their air condition and ventilators off. The ventilation systems in the hospital they spread the virus this is why hospitals have got rapid spread of the virus including nhs staff nhs staff etc this is something i've looked into and you can see how a virus can travel Now a place in your supermarkets, they have um, ventilation systems. Turn them off. Another thing I do when I go out, I buy my food produce. They wash the moment I come in. I drown them with water, I use vinegar on them, and sometimes, believe it or not, I even use a coat of Dettol on them and rinse them quickly. Just take off any coronavirus bacteria, COVID-19 lurking on the surfaces. Anything I purchase with vitamin pills, I spray them and wipe them down. Because people in the shops touch them and they can have all sorts of diseases. Picking their nose, touching different surfaces, transferring it, transferring it to this item. Let me tell you something, you can smash this virus and send it packing by just changing your habits. You have to really dedicate yourself to changing your habits. I know it's suffocating because you're changing your complete lifestyle, how you live, but it has to be done. You have got to block your eardrums. You have got to cover your eyes. You have got to wear a face mask. Everybody has to wear a face mask to stop their bacteria, if they're infected, from protruding out, and also for protection. If you're one without the virus, you have added perfection and protection. Remember this, the face mask alone is no guarantee of protection from the COVID-19 virus. You have to use the whole assortment of weapons against this virus. You've got to stay focused and concentrating, keeping your distance from people. You have to be OTT and look after yourself or else you're gonna pay. So this coronavirus, is deadly. A pneumonia killer. Another thing I use for um, coronavirus you can get a bottle of this. I use apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a powerful immune booster. 
It's your immune system booster and it boosts your immune system. I started off with taking this one times a day and now I take it two times and three times a day. Morning, afternoon and before I go to bed. Do you remember? Apple cider vinegar with the mother. It's got my mum in this thing. I'm trying to think of what else I can help you with. So we've covered not touching things, not touching your mouth. We've covered how the virus enters your body. How you should look after your clothing when you go out, spray it. Keep yourself well covered with masks, earplugs, glasses over the eyes if you can. If you don't wear specs, try and put a light pair of sunglasses on. Use the gloves for, or on your hand because the skin, you may not see it, but you might have broken parts of your skin. And whatever you touch, the virus might be sitting on it and goes straight into your skin. But also the virus loves skin. The dead skin cells, the fat just, um, the, the virus react to your skin and can transfer into the body. So you can't beat this. You must have one of these. And do not take the piss out of people who you see are protecting themselves from this virus and telling them, oh, it's only flu. This is not only flu. This is more highly contagious. They have a higher death rate because this virus tips you towards pneumonia. And that's what it is. I've had pneumonia Christmas. It nearly killed me. So I know how bad it is. The cough followed by pneumonia. Another weapon I use against the coronavirus is vitamin D and also vitamin C. 2,000 milligrams, so I take five, uh, four of these and that is 2,000 milligrams, okay? 500 milligrams each is standard, so four of them equals 2,000 milligrams. 2,000 IU of vitamin D. And also if you've got a chance to go into the sun, provided there's no people around, Go out into the sun and get yourself extra vitamin D, which boosts your immune system. So what will happen? Where will the virus go? What's the future for the virus? I don't know. But I know we are going through one damn scary time. I have never gone through anything like this in my life. attack last year June but I've never gone through anything so suffocating in all my life and where, my, where the, the, this virus has changed it's challenged my mental state it made me go through depression as well I'm, I'm trying to come out of depression for all problems I had with my family my, my last marriage the children I had with last marriage and um, the, the lose the loss of my mum to cancer So um, this virus has come along now and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? Haven't you, asked, haven't you asked yourself the question, what the hell is going on? I'm not knocking the people at the top, but there's something dodgy going on here. I mean, the economy is going to be smashed to pits. It's just ridiculous and lasting too long. Today, 8th of um, um, April 2020, it's been announced that the lockdown is going to be extended and it needs to be extended. So anyhow, I hope you um, be safe. And if you've got any other ideas that you think would help save you, give me a comment in the, in the, in the, in the comment section. So uh, you want apple cider vinegar, you want that tox, that tolls, you want soap, you want the gloves, you want the earplugs in your ears, you want to take um, eat very good food, you want to sleep well, men want to keep their testosterone testosterone levels high, keep your strength, you're going to have too much sex, keep yourself real strong, so you, your, your body's strong to battle this virus. And uh, make sure you have a bath and you put Dettol in your water, or wash yourself, keep your home clean and keep your distance from people. Don't allow no one in your home. If you have letters coming in, in your letterbox, we spray our letters, we spray our food, we clean our food, we wash them all down, everything, even the bags from the shops. 
shopping trolleys are sprayed before I even touch them, even though I'm wearing a, a pair of gloves. And a cash point machine, I spray them before I touch them, and I spray the hand after. Even coins, money, I spray the money, the coins. And I do that as well, even the money. Coins, money, transfer, disease. Notes with spray as well. So this is what we got, and if I find anything more uh, that would help with this virus, I will let you know. Stay safe, and please don't um, spread this virus. Be considerate uh, to other people. Have you heard of the World Health Organization? Abbreviation, they're nicknamed the WHO. <laughs> I've just got to laugh whenever I, I hear of the word the WHO. And really, I shouldn't be laughing because this is something very serious. This is my own opinion and we're entitled to free speech. I truly believe that the WHO is corrupt and my reason for saying this is when this virus was first announced back in January and then the infection started spreading throughout Wuhan and other provinces throughout China and then Italy the who were very slow to respond madness and they never they did not declare this a pandemic many thousands of people have died because of the complacency of the who the uk were not warned on time and the seriousness of this disease was not made clear to world leaders so for me for my opinion the who is very corrupt and i truly believe that as the virus spread to higher to more countries killing people they still was slow in responding. I just find that lead speaker of the Who just very creepy looking and creepy in his approach and handling of this coronavirus. So it's up to you to defend yourself and not listen to people. If you live, don't listen to people, you have to defend your own self. What I use is an assortment of weapons to attack this coronavirus this is the coronavirus this coronavirus is is the invisible enemy when we as human beings cough or sneeze you first get the larger droplets of coronavirus which when they sneeze it just hits the floor that one hits the floor in about a few seconds then you have the aerosol coronavirus which is smaller and they float in the air for around sort of six minutes, three to six minutes, okay? And like I said, I've got to keep repeating this because people don't realize how dangerous this virus is and how contagious it is. So the next one is the fine particles. Now they stay in the air for around three hours, they can live. So you have the large ones hitting the floor or surfaces and living there for three days. Next one you have travel as an aerosol, goes straight into your, into your mouth, your nose, etc. Along with the big particles, of course. Then you have the fine particles, which lives in the air, which can go through the air conditioning systems and ventilation, the ventilators of hospitals, buses, your supermarkets, your local greengrocers, and in your taxi, the taxi's had a person infected and they've got air conditioning system, the virus will go straight through. You have to realize how deadly this virus is and how contagious it is. And me, I'm fully aware of this virus. Therefore, washing my hands with soap, if I, it's just a natural precaution. So come inside and wash your hands with soap or if you're out. And the next thing I do, I wear piece PVC latex free gloves. I put them on and if you're um, uh, going to uh, put gloves on you find them hard to go on what I tend to do is cover my hands with a coat of powder I cover my hands with a coat of powder and this allows for the glove to slip on a lot easier so the virus like we said I've covered that when a person who's infected sneezes or coughs the virus is spread in three different ways. 
in the air and from surfaces which you touch and then your hand then goes to your mouth without you not knowing because it's a natural human habit to touch surfaces. So what do you think when you walk around the streets and you're in shops, groceries, next to people, someone coughs and sneezes, do you think the virus just goes away? The virus is in the air. The virus could be down your high street, floating along the currents of air, which is blown by the atmosphere. And if you um, happen to be the very unlucky one, then you're going to catch the virus. This is why the use of a face mask is very important. If you have one there, I'll, get, I'll show you the face, the face mask I wear. I wear uh, two types of face masks. Let me get the name of this one. I wear, I wear two types of face masks. This is one by um, 3M. It's uh, quite effective for me. And I use this standard one as well, this standard face mask, just to cover the mouth. Now the thing with the face mask is you have two people here, okay? One person infected, one person not infected. The infected person, by wearing a face mask, reduces the spread of their infection. And the person wearing the face mask has more protection. So if everyone wore a face mask, it would severely interrupt the spread of this virus.
free fence against coronavirus. We've just been to our local greengrocers and we've picked um, our fruits and vegetables from the, the, the selection where they sit, which are in public view. They are susceptible to coughs <coughs> from the customers who wish to purchase them, people touching them. So if someone's infected with a virus, it's going to be on your fruit and vegetables and you will catch the virus without doubt. So what we do, we bring our vegetables home and we wash with water. We'll be a bit, a bit freaky, we have to spray a little Dettol in the water, small Dettol, so it's briefly on the vegetable for a short while to take any trace of viruses out. But what we do, we, we rinse the vegetables thoroughly and drown them. When I say drown them, uh, the virus does not like tap water because the tap water contains fluoride and chlorine. And this process combined with the drowning of the, of the virus kills it dead. So you drown your grapes, also your red peppers. See what she's doing is she drown the vegetables. They've been soaking in there for at least 15 minutes. The grapes, especially grapes, you have to really soak them in and wash all your vegetables. You see she's thoroughly washing the grapes. My partner's pregnant, so she has to um, make sure the food going in her is 100% safe. Or she lose her life and also the baby potentially inside of her. It all depends on if you want to catch this virus or not or how much you want to live. So if you want to live, you better protect yourself. Don't rely on anybody for your protection. Not even the government. You have to look after your own self and decide how you're going to protect yourself. Take the action and do not care about what anyone else says. Stop worrying about people and worry about yourself. And there's the rest of the stuff that's drying out on the draining board. And, it, and once they're dried out, We'll shake it, give it a little shake, we will. We can put them away. We've got some more stuff to wash, and we'll, we'll show you in a minute. Cool, look at those healthy grapes. Food for life. And safety habits to stay alive. We're living in very scary times now. So you have to do whatever you can to protect yourself and protect your family. Or else you will be in intensive care, under a, ven under a ventilator, surrounded by about five doctors and nurses, waiting to either live or die. 85% of those who go on a ventilator do not come out alive. So our food is safe now to eat. As you can see, all our fruit is being drowned in the water. You spread that lorry one coat of dental. Just one coat of that on it. And move it around. Try and submerge them in the water and keep moving around. Let's get the rest of them, the rest of the stuff. The water has fluoride and chlorine in it. The partner has to eat, it's kind of baby. About um, nine hours. How, how, um, how much pregnant are you? Nine weeks? Eight weeks. Eight weeks and four days. And I looked at the shape of it in the stomach, it's a, a boy.
Four ginger, could have drink lots of hot boiled ginger. You um, initially catch a, a virus, or you suspect of catching a virus. I mean, the initial part, if you someone sneezes or cough next to you, just go home and get a hot ginger down you as soon as possible. Okay. Yep, go ahead. And remember not to care about people. Just worry about yourself. Worry about protecting yourself. Remember, if you get it wrong and catch this virus, it could be you going through the crematorium. You better to be um, burnt alive and you will lose your life. So concentrate on defending yourself from this killer virus because it will kill. So my partner shares the same thing as myself. She's very um, health conscious, I mean hygiene conscious. She's got very high standards. Very, very high standards. Turn the tap on, it run. Because you want running water. Pineapple. These are huge pineapples, very large. Huge. Again, you drown the pineapple. And the pineapple isn't yet ripe to eat. So what you do, you leave the, the branch bit on. You don't take it off. When it ripes, it ripes better when you leave the branch on it. Then pull it off. Like a meal for us, a, a, a pineapple for breakfast. You chop it all up and you have that um, bit of porridge and you have um, pineapple. And for me, just pineapple alone. If you want to shed the pound. Good soaking. Submerge it, let the water run, and you're going to eventually um, drain the uh, drain and rinse it after. Pull it out of the water and rinse it with tap water. Now give it a rinse. It's been rinsing, but just give it a, a rinse on the water. Our son Isaac has grapes, dates for his breakfast and then followed by that he will have porridge and then he'll have a, an, an apple after. There's one good thing about our son, he loves fruit. He really does love fruit. Look at his curly hair. Hello. He loves his daddy, we're, we're really close, um, my son and myself. I'm never going to lose my son, never, not to anything. And Laura's closer to the, the girl. Laura's always wanted a girl, so we have one of each. Yeah, that's going to feed you in a minute. Look at that handsome boy. And here we have the rest of our food, drying out. My son Isaac eats pineapple, he loves the pineapple. He will drink lemon in water, he will eat some pumpkin, apples. He won't eat um, normal, normal potatoes, but he eats sweet potatoes, small amounts. And he loves his fruit. He loves planting and fruit.
Special thank you from the heart.